Hi everybody, this is Laura from Beth's Creative Stitchery. Thought I would give you an update on the uh, COVID-19 virus situation. And today is Monday, March 23rd. And wanted to just let you know that we are in total compliance with state regulations in the state of Ohio for the mandatory uh, shutdown. Um, we do fall under um, the correct categories of the services provided that uh, we are a small appliance repair uh, facility and that we also do follow the guidelines for uh, your safe um, visit to the store. So I also want to kind of maybe clarify something from the last video about making an appointment to get your machine serviced and I just want to reinforce the fact that an appointment means that you have um, we have set up a particular day an agreed day between you and us and our calendar for you to bring your machine in and that is the day we do your machine. Please bear in mind that calling us and saying, hey, I'm gonna bring my machine in is not an appointment. Um, so this particular week, we are completely booked up as far as machines are concerned. We are finishing up many of the machines that have actually uh, been at the store for about three weeks, so we need to honor those uh, particular services. And uh, when we finish doing those particular machines, then we will be able to work on the machines that come in for appointments, which will start next week. So what you need to do is you need to call the store, make an appointment. The girls will fill out all the particular paperwork. We need to make sure to check to see if we have your cell phone number. We will uh, make all that paperwork, get it completely ready for you. And then prior to your appointment, let's just say that April 2nd is the day that we have made your appointment. Um, you can bring your machine in any time before that particular date, or you can bring it in as in, it has to be at the shop at 10 o'clock in the morning on that particular day on April 2nd. Then at some point during the day, we're going to work on your machine. If we get the machine done at a reasonable hour that allows you to come and pick it up, we're going to call you. Actually, we're going to call you and text you as soon as we're done with the machine. And then you can pick it up before we close. But otherwise, other than that, you can expect if your appointment is on April 2nd, you can plan to pick your machine up on April 3rd. So like I said, unless we call you early enough in the day, you can actually even pick it up that day if we got the machine done. So when you bring your machine in, we're gonna also ask you to kind of sort of keep things simple. All we need is your head of your machine. And we only need two things. We need your head and we need your bobbin case. The sewing machine and the bobbin case, okay? Please do us a favor and take off any of the feet that you have. I, this machine is backwards take any of the feet you might have off of your machine because we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Or 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 this. So, <laughs> Don't ask us. <laughs> All we need is this and your bobbin case. Do us one more favor, though. If you have on your straight stitch plate, please try to make sure that you bring your plate that has your zigzag hole on it. It makes things a lot easier for us. A lot of people are using the straight stitch plates, and when you leave those on the, your machine, we have to get up and go find one because we don't really need to have um, zigzag plates in the store. We have to actually steal it from other machines that are on the floor. So aside from that, if you have a foot control that looks like this, there's also a smaller gray version of this, or if your foot control looks like this, we do not need it. We do not need this. But if you have an older machine and your foot control might look something like this or not like this, then we need your foot control.
So this and this is really all we need. One last request. We do give two years of free service with machines and we're always happy to do that for you. But my personal experience it has been over the last 38 years that very few machines, very, very, very few machines need to be serviced every year. Um, most machines with active sewing customers need to be serviced maybe more like four, five, and six years. And as you create a history, we're going to know better about the amount of hours you put on your machine from year to year. And we can help make a recommendation of how frequently you need to bring your machine in. So even though you have two years of free service, um, we ask you to just bring it at the end of uh, the two years to get a free service, but often there's almost no reason to bring your machine in at the one year mark. So especially during this time period, if you bring in a machine that is um, within the free service time period, we're probably going to hold you off until summer. We will honor the free service, but at this moment right now, what we are trying to do is create income generation. Since most customers are not out shopping, um, it does put, you know, of course, a damper on sales that are required to pay payroll, pay rent, mortgages, um, and everything that goes into a small business. So, I mean, the irony is this. Um, as a small business person, um, <laughs> I can't collect unemployment. Um, and um, with people being not going out and shopping, there's less income in, but the bills are the same. So we're trying to make sure that we generate sufficient income to keep comfortably riding this out so that we can end up on the other side of this um, with all thumbs up, with um, great success, and of course, with your help. So with that, everybody just keep your chins up. We're going to ride this out. And um, happy sewing.